How's it going, guys? Test Builder and Hope you didn't fail your test today. Otherwise, we'll be playing Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. So, we've got Spooky Challenge, uh, or Spooky Challenge, Spooky, uh, Trails, uh, Challenges. Simple. And we also have one chest that we still have to do. Um, uh, I don't know why I started here. I actually should have started by the washing machine. That would have been much faster. But, hopefully I'll be able to find that one chest. I actually... I should have, at least, a, a grinding video of me getting all the missing collectibles in World, uh, in World 3. Uh, but funny enough, I actually haven't uploaded I have it recorded, I just haven't uploaded it. Even though it's gonna be on my grinding playlist anyway, so it's not like it's gonna be, a, like, a public video, but it's... It's still fine. Anyway, so close yet so far. Uh, I, I think I'm just gonna go with the washing machine because... They're actually spread out all over the place in a lot of the towns. Except for three. Three of them are, like, in one area. <laughs> Funny enough. <laughs> Excuse me. So, let's see. The moment I can... Rabbit Yoshi, Scary Rabbit, will try to draw other something. 100% super effective range, so... This is gonna be a really interesting... I wanna say Rabbit Luigi cheeses this, in a way because of what this is. This is, we basically have to get to this area, but we only have three turns to do it. There are boos everywhere. And, um, because it's 100% super effective against the enemy, that means that you will always hit us with honey, and you will always hit us with bounce. So the idea is essentially just to somehow play around that, and, uh, I know what one of my characters is gonna be, but, doesn't really change it a whole lot. Where the heck is my... See, I see Rabbit Peach here and Mario, but where's, like, Luigi? Oh, here. D Luigi blends in so well in that area. That's funny. Okay, well, anyways. Uh, Rabbit Luigi is going to be helpful for this because Super Barrier prevents you from getting st status in any way. And I could potentially bring Luigi, but that could be a bit risky. We could try it. Uh, in terms of new weapons, I don't... I want to say we have most of them. Uh, although, I do not like any of these new weapons for Rabbit Luigi, in a way. I, I honestly might wait. In terms of new century, though, yeah, we'll probably go for this. Like, the only thing it really adds is the 15% against mid bosses, but hey, it's better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, so we'll go for that. And I, I don't think Rabbit Luigi will really need more weapons. We'll see, I guess. Now, in terms of skill tree wise, uh,. I don't really know what I want to do for everyone, really. I feel like everyone's actually doing pretty well on the skill tree, but I think we're going to do Empower Cooldown and Empower Range. I'll make sure this M that Empower is pretty well maxed out. The Luigi. I feel like we should start increasing Itchy Feet Range, and it's going to start being really, really helpful eventually. We can do it two more times, or we could try, like... See, two turns cooldown isn't that bad. We'll upgrade it twice, and then movement. For Rapid Luigi, I think weapon parry, because you're- because we're gonna be relying on the shield- uh, the super barrier. We're also gonna need your extra movement. I don't know if we'll need the dash damage right this second. Uh, and I think that's all we're really going to need to do. But we don't want to be thinking about it too much, since we're probably going to need different skill trees for different weapons, in a way. So I can just, like, kind of run up. But in a way, the booze... I don't know... If I run straight forward, will the booze get me? That's something I don't know yet. But I guess it's technically only really one way to make this work. I guess 
You could also use the Smashers to your advantage. Like, if we're playing as Luigi, as an example, and we... Well, let's assume you don't ink. Wait, can I... Yeah, that only gives me plus three movement, so I only go up to there, and then just... One... Two, three. So yeah, we can't even cheese it like that. It's kind of annoying that Mario isn't really near any... Anyone. I want to test something. Well, I get her critical, so it doesn't even matter. I want to test something. Whoa. Times two do I get a critical, so it basically doesn't matter. I'm kind of scared to go up here. Actually, I'm going to test. Okay, it looks like I perfectly don't get interfered if I do that. Yes, okay. So we're gonna super barrier. Um I guess it doesn't really matter who we target since we're not really gonna be able to do a whole lot, so No, we'll go for you. You're close to Mario. Well, not even a critical, dang it. Yeah, Mario is kind of, like, stuck, so I kind of have to go like this. I guess we'll hear out of sight. There's not really a whole lot we're going to be able to do the next turn, though. For Mario or uh, Luigi. The boos do not even move at all. That's funny, in a way. Critical immune. There's the honey. Oh, now you ink. Critical immune. Did I get a notification that I wasn't aware? Yes, I did. And it's unfortunately... Yeah, oh, whoops. Damn. Okay. Um... Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Rabbit Luigi can just win. Yeah. <laughs> Rabbit Luigi gonna cheese us that mission in a way, but it's whatever. Seven minutes to beat one challenge. But I guess in a way it was like I had to do some extra thinking in a way for at least upgrades specifically for Steel Tree. Anyways, throw caution to the wind. Oh, <laughs> this one. This one's gonna be interesting. I know I definitely need Luigi. But I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. For our second character, or my our, our rabid character. So here's the idea. We have one, two, three, four, and five areas to reach. We have five areas to reach. In one turn, you think that's been impossible. But then you realize there's a tornado in this map. So you kind of get the idea. We want to... So actually, it's kind of convenient. This spot and this spot... It basically indicate that if you walk here with one character, that means that they're going to be pushed into this zone, and they're all going to be pushed into this zone. Meaning, really, you only really need to worry about this area very specifically. Um, so, yeah. So we're going to want Luigi, but I don't know who our second character we want, so let's see. We want to optimize movement and team jump range in a way, I guess. Well, you we don't really need that now that I'm thinking about it. Because we really only need- well, hold on. Before I- before I do anything... Can... Okay, yeah. Rabbit Luigi can go there. Whoops. No! I did- Well, I guess we're going with this team. Yay! 
Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Um... I don't really have any characters that I can easily kill these, so... I guess that means it's Mario that's gonna have to do this. Even though I guess it doesn't really matter now that I think about it, but... It's fine. Okay, anyways. Luigi. Or rather Luigi, I guess. You can... I guess kill both these characters, since I don't think they're- they're probably just gonna be annoying, if anything. So, Rev Luigi's gonna go into that- into this area, specifically. And now we've got a bit of a weird thing to do. So we're gonna put Luigi here, and I have to find the- the perfect spot to move Mario. Uh... Oh, if I just had one more team jump range, or, a uh, thing, it would be fine. So, where- which way is it going? So it's gonna go like this. So if we wanted to push Mario, I guess we kinda have to be, like... To be, like... There? I guess- I guess the Ziggy is specifically in the spot that's gonna work. Let's try here. And if this doesn't work, then I- then I can just reset my skill tree a little bit. Uh, we can just enemy turn. Let's hope this works. Area reached. Area reached. Nope! Okay. Um... Let's just restart. Wait, is it gonna restart us with, like, the exact same team? Okay, no, we, we still get to do this. If that's okay, they can easily fix the Mario's thing. It's kind of annoying that I have to do this, but, uh, it's fine. So, what I can't- what you can do is you can, like, screenshot this or take a picture on your phone so that you don't forget specifically, like, your, um, like, what you personally chose as upgrades, which is what I'm gonna do, so that I don't forget myself, because we're essentially gonna be increasing this to this very specifically, so let's just, uh, reset it. I do sort of wish you can, like, like, make it so that you just don't have to worry about that at all, but that's not really how things work. Theoretically, that's all we really need to do. We don't need to do anything else, so let's just do- let's- Yeah. So let's just do the exact same thing we did last time, so we're gonna have Mario kill that thing. The Ziggy, I guess. So we're going to- we don't- I guess we don't really have to dash into those specifically, but it's- it's fine. I was about to hold ZR to speed things up, but this is an advanced war, so that's not gonna work. <laughs> um... Let us... well, you know what? Let's do this. Wow, each- with that one HP upgrade, then I can I increase the range. Okay, anyways. Let's go to Mario, and hopefully I made this- this should work, because if I go... Yup, here we go. Boom. And now we just enemy turn and wait for the tornado to help us. Now obviously if you found the perfect position, you could do that to try to find the, uh... To try to find the area you need to reach if you don't really want to cheese it like that, or if you don't have enough uh, power orbs, but... Then again, you could you could just do what I did and reset and like... And at least like take a picture of like what your upgrades were so you don't forget them. I mean, even if I didn't screenshot it or took a picture or whatever, I have to- I would have this recording so I could have easily, like, popped it up if I needed to. Anyways, we are not alone. I don't really remember a lot of these challenges, uh... So I'm definitely gonna have to, like, do some smart thinking here. Defeat all within two minutes. Or two, two minutes. Two turns. Uh, anyways, we're gonna reset this because this is not what I chose. I do sort of wish that you didn't have to skip that little- or you could skip that animation or just the fact that it, you know, that it does that every single time is just annoying in a way. Okay, 
and then uh, we'll do this, do this. There we go. And one cool thing is we are getting power ores while doing this, so you know, it's nice. Okay, so anyways, what have we got here? Actually, how many enemies do we have to defeat? We have to defeat one, two. I did five enemies, so just five. Oh, we gotta first introduce a lava hoppers. This feels very rabbit Mario-y. Oh no no no! Okay, I think I did get the point now. These enemies, I'm pretty sure they get the first turn, and they're gonna like hit us with a whole bunch of status effects because you have yeah you have burn you have push. Uh, then we have honey so. Yeah, that's gonna be the issue. Here. Because they're gonna do... Well, in a way. I still, I still think we're gonna have Rabbit Mario out here. We could, we could either have Peach or Rabbit Peach. I think we're gonna have Rabbit Peach. And for that reason, let's see if we can upgrade anything that we want to. I think we'll do dash damage since we're kind of getting to the point where it's like we want to start doing more damage with dashes. For Rabbit Mario, uh... Magna Dance range is going to be the most useful thing for us. Now in terms of weapon selection... Ooh, I don't know if I really want to get a new weapon, because we'll get a new weapon later in the lava pit for... I mean, it, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Yeah. It's kind of like, it's kind of one of those, like, I want to save money, since we're going to need a lot of money, like, in this, in the final world, specifically. So, yeah. I guess we don't always have to purchase more stuff when we need to. Well, let's just see. Yeah, thought so. They're going to get the first turn. And they, I forget, yeah, they, they're going to start with the, with a outer shell. We have two turns to do this, so... Yeah, we can't really- we can't even really use splash damage in a way, because, you know, they're all gonna be spread out. I think that- I think it's probably a custom set the AI for it to do that. Not all of them use bar- outer shell, though, not barrier. Um, so... If anything, it was actually the... Hmm. Let's see what we can do here. Does that hit? That doesn't hit really. I mean, I guess we can kill that hopper. We can't get to that one, though. It's a bit annoying. So I guess we're just gonna... Let's just try to defeat these three hoppers so that we have significantly less enemies to worry about. Going to magnet dance. And then we're just gonna hammer. Man, if I angled them up correctly, I guess I didn't need to do this, but... Just do this to the fact that we can have them. Critical! As if I needed that. And then we'll- and now we only have two hoppers. Unfortunately, there are- they are the, like, the lava hoppers, specifically. So, it's not really gonna be the easiest, but we can... Try. Oh, I can't get to that one, so... I guess I'll just hammer you with Mario. Yeah, that will kill you. So now we only have one to deal with, so... That should be pretty easy. Actually, I could just... I'm gonna send the sentry with you, so that... And you don't... and you won't have outer shell, so... Uh, and I guess I'll shield and kind of just be, in that, be out in the open, like here. So that, you know, maybe it's going intent, to incent, incentivize the enemy to specifically shoot Rabbit Peach. Yeah, there we go. Worked. He's going to try to run, but they have a sentry after it, and Mario's right literally on the other side of the pipe. There's ink blocks, that's interesting. Ooh, can I kill it, though? I don't know if I'll be able to kill it. No, I can't. Okay, nice. That was relatively quick. Despite the fact that, you know, they have the ability to move first, I don't think that really changes anything. 
I really, I really only made it an inconvenience than anything else. But there is, an, there is one another one of like these missions where the enemy gets to move first, and who oh boy am I not looking forward to that one? Because that one actually took me a while on my first, when I first played through the game. At least I remember it taking a while. Okay, behind the eight ball. That. What 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 is this? What is this? Is this, is this this is is this just like my challenge? Like, did I come up with this? Okay. One turn to defeat eight enemies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mustn't. The, 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 hold on, let me see. Oh, oh okay, yeah, there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's eleven enemies. It looks like. So we really only need to worry about, like, there's a good bulk of them here. So... Hmm... Why can't I move there specifically? Is it just... That's weird. Um... See, the Ziggies are gonna be, shouldn't be too hard to take out. And what we can do is we can just flee with Mario and then just kind of go... I think we still want... We probably still want Rapid Mario since splash damage and all that stuff. And then... I don't know, actually. We'll, we'll, we'll let... I, I, let let's... We probably still want Rapid Mario, but maybe not Rapid Peach. Rapid Yoshi, maybe? Although that kind of doesn't really help in a way. I guess we'll do Peach. That could work as a combo. <laughs> 200! You can tell just how much I don't really use Peach that much. Which is interesting in a way. Uh, let's just do... Protection Range and Protection Cooldown. Extra movement and extra health because you're like one of the tankiest... You're, you well, I mean, you're... I think you're the highest... I think you actually get the highest max HP. Out of any character, period. So, yeah, literally the opposite of Luigi. But, uh, yeah, we'll do this. Um, I don't really want to purchase this, but it is extra damage, so. And I kind of think Freeze is better than Burn, so. Well, there's two of them you can get? Okay, yeah, no, we're not getting another one of those. I'm being probably really stingy with my money, but I don't really want to, like, buy a whole lot of it. Okay. I guess we can, like, let's just hit one of the bucklers as a going away present. <laughs> as I try to flee. Oh, we actually can't flee easily, now that I think about it. Can I at least dash into you? Yeah, but I don't think I can dash into- yeah, that'll hurt Rabbit Peach. Could I dash? I guess we can- we can deal a good chunk of damage. Where can Mario move specifically again? I forgot. We can go here. We can either kill those two, or... Okay, yeah, we can't really do that easily. Wait, are any of these low on four, or like 40 HP or low? No. So we might as well just hit like one of these. As a going away present. Oh, we only have one turn. I forgot. So. I thought we had two turns. Never mind. So. I might have to do things very differently then. This is not gonna work. Yeah, that, that really is... That's that's a terrible idea. Well, actually, this splash damage is everything. So it'll kill everything in this range. But it won't really do much of anything against you. I guess if we need to, we can use... Okay, yeah, I did this kind of poorly, now that I think about it. Because I, I really should have just, like, went for these. Enemies in particular. So that's, a, that's four enemies, five enemies, actually. 
just defeat it easily, and then I could, like, pick in a few, like, three down here, and that won't be that hard. So yeah, let, let, I think I'm gonna restart. Since I did this really wrong, <laughs> there was a much easier way of doing this. Actually, can Rabbit Mario at all go in the pipe? Can. That looks like what? Like one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six enemies that we can easily. Well, potentially. Let's just try. If we try to, if we go down the pipe, like what, what, what things can we easily dash into? I guess that's like that's nice chip damage, but it doesn't really help us in terms of killing them all. So. That will damage the, the smashers by a good chunk of damage. But in a way, I'm probably overthinking this, because I could probably just like... Well, okay, let me, let me, let me see. Got, I'm switching. So you do 100 damage, and you do 40, so... And the splash, I think, is 70, so... That's, you, you're left at 5 HP, I'm pretty sure, if I do this. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I'm, oh, never mind. Well, no, if I go like this, specifically, then yeah, it'll be too much, so... I like... I'm trying to, I am really trying to think this out. Because if I just defeat you, then I can literally just go down here, maybe like dash into you and then just like go kind of weirdly where Mario is specifically. This is a lot of friendly fire damage though, unfortunately. Let's move all you guys near me. I just want to see how much damage is this. This is not going to be enough, so I'm going to have to M power. And on top of that, I can like, I can dash into you and then flee. And do that. There we go. Gonna overthink the situation a little bit, but it's fine. Yeah, look at that. Hit. I want to see someone, like, actually try to defeat every single enemy instead of just having to defeat eight. Probably is possible, it just... And there we go, nice. I don't know if it'll take that long to get through all the challenges. Was that, like, five or four? That was four. Uh, blue block... B b boo blockade! <sighs> um... You can dash. Cleansing jump allows you to restore a hero's overcome by it. Status super fact. Y this is kind of cool. Escort Toadette. Where specifically? There, but there are boos, so I assume it's going to kind of get to the point where it's like, oh... Have, um, have the characters just be abducted by the booze. <laughs> but not, um, obviously. Okay, well anyways. We're probably gonna want Luigi and I guess any other character that can deal with the... Deal, I guess, be able to handle by, handle enemies by themselves, so... This will do go like this. And I don't think we really got more meaningful skill tree. Because we're only getting like five per thing. So, or pie, yeah, whatever. Wait. So first we'll start with an ATP. Well, okay. Where can Todet move? Todet can move all the way up there. Which might be a bit risky, but it is also like a nice place to go to, so... 
We don't, I guess we have five turns, so if we really need to, like, provide some wiggle room, we can just go there, and I think that'll be enough, because we'll... Yeah. So, we don't really need to think about this, but Rabbit Peach could probably just handle it on their own. I would love it if I can just take out this Smasher. Like, just straight up take out the Smasher. Or not Smasher, Buckler. But it doesn't look like there's an easy way to do that. So I guess we'll just do this. Honey, that's nice. Wait, why did I go there? Oh, okay. Well, let's just hope it's gonna be good enough. Okay. Um... I don't think we can kill it with... That's like, what, like 20 plus... 50, so that's 60. Or, yeah, so that's not gonna be enough. Or not, not, I don't know why it said it was, it was to be 70, but yeah, that's, that, it's just not going to be enough damage, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to probably have to use... I guess it doesn't really matter. Could I send the sentry over, and like, will it reach? It'll reach two of them. And it will damage them, so I guess we'll do this. It does also lose the boo. But, I'm, but it's just going to warp back anyways. So it's going to be kind of a moot point. Um, yeah, we'll just go here. I guess I could probably empowered and made it, made it so we can kill the bucklers, but it's fine. <clears throat> we'll just hero sight, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that's really annoying. In a way, it was... Hmm. Oh, 2 HP? You're kidding. I don't know, did I get a high roll or something? Did... Oh, great. They have one... Oh, yeah, they had super chance, never mind. So we, well, that's just barely not death. Oh, no, okay, yeah, it is. Restart. Okay. So we do want to kill those bucklers since they they are kind of just annoying. I still think this is, this is like, a good team. It just doesn't... I guess, in a way, we could use the sentries as distraction. That is something I haven't considered. Is we can use the sentries as distraction for the booze. Meaning we don't have to leave Rabbit Peach, like, on their own, in a way. So, I guess we, we could try that. But is this sentry gonna hit... It doesn't hit Mario. Oh, but the, the annoying part about that, though, is that it's just gonna... It doesn't work. Because, it, yeah, it's just gonna hit the... So not for this one, specifically. But, like, the other boos, we might better just use the sentries to... For everything else. Anyways. This feet's probably still what we're gonna want to do, and I, I guess we will empower. So that, the, there were, like, two times when we were, where, we, where we were just barely not able to kill the enemies. So, yeah, I would like to leave that spot open for Toadette, so I think I'm just going to go right here specifically. Like, it really matters where I am specifically, because, you know, the boo's going to warp me. Okay, I don't really want to use the sentry, but if it guarantees the kill so that I can... It'll work. It's fine. I guess I could have also, like, dashed into it. That was also an option. Oh, now I can't get there because Rabbit Peach is in the way. I just forget about that mechanic where it's like, if a character is standing in the direction, like, of their maximum movement, it does kind of block them. Kind of like Advance Wars in a way, but different also, so. Okay, yeah, that kills two of them, which is already good, good news. It is annoying that we did- we do use our two sentries, though, so we can't distract the boo easily. 
So, I guess... I can't get to it. I guess my only other idea is to just damage the, uh... Oh, whoops. Is to just damage the, um... The hoppers on the other side. And I guess that's what we're gonna try to do, because there's not really a whole lot we can do now. We already killed two of the bucklers, which was already a huge deal. And we're gonna kill one of these hoppers, so really, only three things are gonna be able to attack Toadette, and one of them isn't really gonna be that detrimental. Only one of them should be. The other two are gonna, like, probably chip damage. Oh, it actually worked me there. That's arguably better? Also, my headphones are gonna die, so I'm gonna have to be careful with that. Oh, and because of the... That's really annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart now. All because I put Rabbit Peach again in the ex in the wrong position two times in a row. Oh my god. Yeah, I know headphones. <laughs> Come on. You can hopefully last out just this one mission. Okay. I'm gonna start the exact same. It already sounded like impossible mode. Because how many times I had to reset for impossible mode. So, uh, simple... We're gonna do the exact same thing, except not stand there or there. We're gonna stand there, and I think that'll be fine. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's grab Toadette. We're gonna put you in this spot. And also, this is actually gonna- the reason why I wanted to put Toadette here, not only is it, like, safe cover from the hoppers on the other side, but also what ends up happening is that this, um, buckler, it's gonna push it, but it's gonna get block- it's gonna get pushed the other way, because it's gonna go like this. So, that is- that was the whole reasoning and why I wanted to- I wanted Toadette in that position. Nice balance. Okay, and then we're just gonna go here because kill one of the hoppers, so that that means that we don't have we don't have to worry about too many different things. Yeah, this is already much more value that we're able to kill more enemies easily. Okay. Let's hope the RNG isn't hugely gonna affect us. It did put rabbit feature in Kind of annoying position though. And the boos actually spawn in a better position, so theoretically this could work. Okay, right, the Toadette didn't move. It put Mario it put the boo on Mario, which is nice. Ooh, that, that, Luigi might die though. And we have one more. Okay, thankfully that wasn't a push, so that it's nice. Okay. So Let's go... I guess we can go... How... How much range does this have? I think that's like four tiles or something. It's either or four tiles. Four cells or something, so I can't really go too far. I think I'll go here, because Mario doesn't really need the health. It's kind of more Luigi and Toadette. Which Toadette didn't even take any damage anyway, so it's kind of a moot point. Oh, I'd like it if I can honey you. Alas. Okay, this can heal everyone, nice. Okay, so... I can't really do anything with Mario, unfortunately. So I might as well just, like, try to kill this hopper, at least. I didn't really need to jump, but I guess I did anyways. Yeah, let's just kill the hopper. That just means that there's just less enemies to worry about. And now... Now comes the hard part. I don't really have an easy way to kill this buckler, so my idea is to just, like... Essentially just go... Hopefully to ink it. That'd be really good if I can ink it. 
No. Okay. This could be a potentially dangerous. So I think I'm just gonna go in front of this block, so that if it does try to push me, it'll push me in the opposite direction. Puts Luigi there. Okay. See, these are really the only thing that's gonna potentially be useful here. So let's just see. Okay. It wasn't even a push, so I guess that's nice. Mario's gonna get a bit of a beating here. Nice honey. Smart for using the outer shell. Okay. I can't really kill that buckler, oh, unfortunately. I could send a sentry after it. That'll give it something to worry about, I guess. I bet if I went full distance, I could have probably made it, but unfortunately, no. So we're gonna go here. Oh, I could have probably killed it if I went, like, if I didn't move Toadette. And I can't kill the... Man, that's sort of annoying that I can't... I can't guarantee this kill at all. Like, at all at all. There's a good chunk of damage, though. Let's just put the sentry after it. I don't want to use uh, Rabbit Peach sentry, because that has a lot of range. Or a lot more... Well, I guess they both have a lot of range. That was kind of a... Not necessarily a good thing to do, regardless. I can't really move forward because the booze. I don't even know why I did the shield. I'm just going to stay here. I'm just hoping that Toadak can really do it on her own. Pushing me, where I'm actually been the worst thing that have happened, I guess. Thank you for going for Mario. Okay. Nice bounce. Okay. And victory. Took a few attempts, but wasn't that hard. I just have to like find like the perfect locations to move my characters on the first turn except for all of their turns were kind of like kind of well it was both in, not in my hands and in my hands at the same time but they were generally easier in a way but uh yeah and i think that's actually where i'm gonna end this video because uh 40 minutes and we only went through the first five challenges so i got another five to do but i'll do them eventually <laughs> it'll take me a while but i will so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. You are an eight ball fall. Goodbye.